Look at that. That's so simple. This is smaller than like... The size of a watermelon. Two yeah. watermelons side by side. <laughs> Literally. You laugh too hard at that, Lee. What are you thinking right now? You mm -hmm. son of a bitch. Hey guys, Rich from Rich Rebuilds here, back with another update on my flooded Model S saga. If you're new to the channel, click on my playlist and find the Angela series, and that will play all the episodes leading up to this point. Last we left off, I powered up the car after pressure washing it, and all of the electronics turned on. Yes, this car was submerged underwater for 10 days, and everything powered up like nothing happened. Now today in this episode, we're going to see how well the motor held up. Are the Tesla motors waterproof? How well are they sealed? Today's episode is going to be a little bit different than usual because you all said that you wanted them longer, so I'm giving you guys more length and girth. Yes, this video will have lots of girth because I'm going to show you how to drop the motor and open it up to see the insides. Let's get this show on the road. <laughs> I gotta talk about this thing really quick. Lee found a ride-on lawnmower that someone threw in the trash that needed a new deck. He threw the deck part away, he put ATV tires in the back of it, and cheap Harbor Freight wheels up front, and now he uses it to pull cars around. Isn't this thing cool? catch up fast or yeah. so do we have to take up this too no nah, we don't have to it's just this main section right here i can get those lee i know you're gonna buy one of these yeah i'm already I, looking i know you, i know you are oh there she is Ooh. see the motor so let's take a look at this bad boy so it doesn't uh, the tops of the screws are a little rusty but Ooh, that's okay. Oh, yeah, so coolant. Shit, I forgot about that. This thing is fully energized, so if we have like a coolant drip that we could let it oh, yeah. kind of everything here kind of cycle its way out. So this is the sport one. See, this is drive unit. It's a sport. There's different ones. The standard, the sport one's more powerful. Seepage in there, but it's not a big deal. It's fairly common. Yeah, this thing looks like a, a typical car that lives at the ocean. This is what happens around here when I get cars. They're yeah. a year or two old. That's what it looks like, man. I know. Man, this thing's easy. All right, so now what we're going to do is this. We're going to get in here. Yep. And those are the shocks. We're going to undo that, and that will allow it, the whole thing to come down from the actual uh, body itself. There's one on each side, obviously, and then the it's the calipers. The brake awesome. calipers? Yeah. You pop those lines off. Actually, no, we can just do this. Just pop the calipers right off and just let, you know, pop, let we'll it hang, hang them. We'll hang them somewhere, and then we'll do that. And then after that, man, four bolts. Doop, 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 doop. That's it. Uh, we got a date. Looks like possibly it was replaced already. Oh, uh, next you know, uh, 716, so yes. Yeah, because this is a 15 car, correct? Cut's correct, 12 a.m., 716. This was replaced before. <laughs> that took, like, what, nine seconds, maybe? Get that. I'm actually gonna pop the wheel up just to make it easier to show people. The wheels. <laughs> Those are softer than baby shit, by the way. Yeah, they are. They're using, <laughs> using Land Rover. I hate. Yeah. Yeah, I, I hate those. At least it comes off easy. Damn, these things are heavy. Yeah, yeah, they are. 21s will do that to you. All right, here's something. On the BMW emblem, mm -hmm. what is the blue and white? 
What is the symbol or what, what's it symbolizing? I don't know. All right. Who online knows this? Uh, every, every enthusiast online probably. No. Really? They're not. It starts before they were even a car company. All right, you, you let me know. I have no idea, man. I'm not a BMW guy. I had, I had, actually, I had a, I had an M5, but I didn't really deep that, you know, dig that so deeply into it. They were big into airplanes and aircraft oh, engines. Oh, the propeller? The propeller. The white is the propeller going through the the blue sky. Oh. It has the pilot sitting in the cockpit. Yeah. Flying. That's kind of cool. Thank you, Lee, for today's uh, BMW tidbit. Now someone could use that as a at a um, what do you call it? A trivia night or something. All right. So yeah. So caliper. Oh yeah. Right on. <laughs> that almost that almost fits funny. Nice. That's a good shot, Porsche. That's cool. No, you have to say it right, Porsche. Porsche. <laughs> Favorite. Favorite thing about the car? Sounds like my father in the morning taking a leak. <laughs> <laughs> Push this choke all the way down. Get it throttle. It's going so slow, that thing goes 30. <laughs> Alright, now, on, so right there, the last numbers. Yeah, go way high. Huh? Hold on, I'm teaching you something, come here. Okay. We got Spanish. Alright, keep going. Keep going. Oh, what happened there? Uh, uh, the suspension settling into here and the caliper uh, resting. Okay, a little bit more. Here, oh, yes, there's a ground strap. Forgot about that. Whoa, look at this thing. Here we got to do with this thing? Uh, Pressure wash it. Especially not as heavy as. Uh, yeah, it's, it's actually moving a lot better than I thought it would. Oh, Alex, you're going to have fun now. With the nice weather right now, it's not warmed up. Um, I have a feeling that this might be okay. I don't know why. Yeah, that's. I have a feeling that like it's not that bad. Oh, that's awesome. so satisfying to watch this fall off that thing. Isn't that tip awesome? The turbo tip. Awesome. <laughs> Look at the rush, you're just blowing this up right out. It's really long, oh, there you go. So that's how, that's water. Oh, there's water coming out. Uh huh. What the hell is it coming out of? There's nothing new that I'm doing. It's like this water just pouring out of somewhere. Oh no. Yeah, it's coming out of right here. Take yeah. Right out of. Straight out of the. Uh, oh boy. Yeah, this is done. See, look, there's water just coming out of it. All right. There you go, you got one. So? Yeah, it's rusty on the inside. How about the back end of it? It's a little corroded, but... Doesn't look terrible. Hmm. You can hear it barking right from now. And that one's got a lot more water. And then, yeah, the back of it's rusty, too. So, how's the inside look? Can't really see. There is water in there, for sure. See it? Rusty water. Ah. Oh no. No, nope. actually, uh... we found water in it. <laughs> might be off. Oh, oh, the water. Oh no. Yeah, no way to get the water out. Look at that. Look at that. Look at all that water in there. Oh no. Oh, oh boy. 
So this is the reason why. I know you guys are like, oh my gosh, why don't you just start it and start driving it? This is the specific reason why you don't just jump in an EV that's been underwater and just start driving it. There's over 400 volts that go through here. And if electricity and water, I could be wrong, but I heard electricity and water don't mix. That's just, I just heard that somewhere on the internet. From a friend. From a friend. That wasn't very tight. That was... Not... Yeah, they don't, they don't tighten them very tight. Really? Nope. I mean, you'd nope. think that the bearing and all that torque and everything, that's like, holy shit. Nope. These wrenches are awesome. Oh yeah, I, I love them. those. That's what helped me out a while back when I was doing the dashboard. That was awesome. We use a speed nut in the back here. And of course, I just went too far. Alright. I'm going to lift up a little bit just to get some weight off. Okay. And that's the heavy side. This is the heavy side. You lean that way, so I want to shift the weight. Nice. And maybe here. <laughs> Set up and wind back. There you go. That's good. 15 or 16? 15. Damn, that was quick. And this is developed 700 foot And there's pounds. like a hook there. Yep. It hooks yeah, right in. So what fingernails. Peel it back and then you can lift. Oh, there you go. It works too. There you go, mate. Extension on it. Good amount of extensions. I think they would just go pop. Why would they do that? Again, the torque. That's coming out. There you go. Yeah. I got it. Okay. We'll have the talk. Okay. Boom. Well, that's a plus. There's no water coming out of there. Like, usually when water gets into the diff, it'll overfill. Yeah. I'll start pouring out the sides. <laughs> Yay! Oh, it's fully free. Awesome. Look at this, what a shame. It's peeing. Look at that, Lee. Yummy. Oh. There you go. Yep. Wow. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, definitely. You see the water line? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's that's pretty bad. Look at that, so. You ready? Water! Oh man, there's tons of water in there. Oh. I didn't see rust. Wow. Interesting. It smells like cranberry juice. Wow, man. Yeah, there's some serious water in there, dude. Oh. Look at that. Looks like blood. How many days was this thing underwater again? Ten days, baby. Ten days. Ten days. You could see where the water line was right there. Ah. It's so simple. This is smaller than like the size of a watermelon. Two yeah. watermelons side by side. <laughs> Literally. You laugh too hard at that, Lee. What are you thinking right now? 
You son of a bitch. <laughs> It's just that's all it so is. So simple, so compact, and what's the 85 put out in the rear wheels? Uh, four, four pounds of torque. I think it's measured in torque mostly. Yeah, Maybe like but four, they do a calculation of 400 and something. Four, 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 420 foot pounds, something like that. Yeah, and what 400 and something uh, horsepower, something like that. Yeah, it's like really. This? Look what uh, the cars are getting, like you know the the three liter turbos and other cars that are factory. Mm -hmm. Or the V8 non-force uh, inductions. So right. much more complication, and it's just this right here. That's literally it. That's it, right here. So imagine if it didn't need the inverter. It'd yeah. be like it'd be, you get rid of be this, tiny. You could actually have this located somewhere else, which some people do. Right. Um, but Tesla tried to keep it all compact, which makes sense. Yep. And then one gear, and there's a couple of things, and the differential. That's it. Everything's combined. No transmission. No nothing. So yeah, boys and girls, my luck ran out. Things didn't fare so well in the flood. There was lots of water in the inverter. There was lots of water in the diff. There was water everywhere. I do not feel comfortable sending 400 volts to this as it sits right now. And to make matters worse, this is not a part you can buy from Tesla as it's on their restricted parts list. How do I solve this pickle? Can I repair this motor myself without help from Tesla? Find out in the next installment of this Angela series. And don't forget to subscribe for more updates. I'll see you guys soon.